Right now, $55 million of relief is now available for small businesses in Michigan. This is one of two new rounds of grants to help those affected by COVID restrictions. 16 News Now reporter Jack Springgate is looking into what kind of small businesses need these funds the most. Well, one of these grants, the Michigan Small Business Survival Grant, is open to many different types of businesses. But when I spoke with the president of the Southwest Michigan Regional Chamber, he told me that restaurants could really use the help right now. Lark's Barbecue in Benton Harbor is just one among many restaurants in Michigan missing out on dine-in customers. Even with their loyal following keeping them afloat, one of the owners says they're considering applying for the extra funding. We definitely have a conversation about it. Want to get more details about, you know, what's different between now and the last time. But well, we're definitely going to take a look at it. And it's, it's possible it's something that we're going to we're going to look into doing. The Southwest Michigan Regional Chamber president says the small business survival grant will be helpful, but he sees some downsides too. Applying will be easier, and it, it mirrors how they did it last year. Uh, obviously, this comes at a critical time, which is the best thing about them for businesses that are struggling currently. I would like to have seen a more targeted approach uh, meant to alleviate the, the plight of restaurants who have been in a 10-week shutdown, in effect, since November. A second fund called the Michigan Stages Survival Grant is a more targeted approach to help live event venues recover from the pandemic, but not restaurants specifically. Three and a half million dollars are available in this grant with one time awards of up to 40 grand. Applications go live for this grant on Thursday while owners are already submitting their proposals for the small business survival grant that went live today. And to see the specifics and the breakdown of these two grants, as well as eligibility requirements, you can head to this story on our website at WNDU.com. Reporting in Benton Harbor, I'm Jack Springate, 16 News Now.